You started trading to gain freedom, but now you spend hours staring at charts waiting for the perfect trade. You ran from one prison and ended up in another. To avoid this trap, alerts are very important for any indicator. And that is precisely why our team spent months developing the most powerful and advanced alert system ever created for an indicator on TradingView. In this video, we'll break down alerts across our toolkits into three main categories. And at the end of the video, we will explain our most powerful alert system that allows users to create very specific conditions and sequences in a way never seen before. So let's get into it. For our first category, we have built-in alerts. These are predefined alerts created around the main features of each indicator. To access these alerts, you first need to ensure the indicator is on your chart. Then, click on the Create Alert icon at the top of the window. A new panel will open and where it says Condition, you want to select Lux Algo Signals and Overlays, click on the drop-down below, and you can now see all the alerts available for this indicator. You'll notice that there are two options here called Any Alert Function Call and Custom Alert Condition. These are more advanced options that we'll discuss later. All the other options listed here are based on signals that could be generated by the indicator. If you're not sure what each option is referring to, you can learn about them using the Alert Reference page in our documentation at luxalgo.com. For now, let's say I want to get an alert whenever a bullish confirmation signal is detected by the indicator. I will simply select Bullish Confirmation. You will then need to tell TradingView how often you would like the alert to be triggered. I want the alert to be triggered once per bar close, meaning when the bullish confirmation is detected, the alert will be sent once, but only when the candle closes. Finally, we can give our alert a name and type a message we would like to receive when the alert is triggered then click Create. Now we'll get notified when a bullish confirmation signal is detected. While this is great for basic alerts, there is one issue. If a user wants to receive alerts for other conditions, they would need to create a new alert for each condition, and users can only create a limited number of alerts. So our developers got to work, and that's where our second alert system comes into play. Any alert function calls. With any alert function calls, users can create a single alert that will be triggered by multiple conditions by simply checking the options they would like to get alerted for. To use these alerts, click on the indicator settings and scroll down until you find the any alert section. I can select bullish confirmation, bearish confirmation, bullish and bearish exits, stop loss, and take profit. Below those conditions is a box we can use to input a message we would like to receive when any of the above conditions are met. Then click OK. Now you want to go back to create an alert and select signals and overlays, but this time select any alert function call. We can set a name for the alert and click create. Now, if any of those six conditions are met, the indicator will notify me with this one alert. The next method of creating alerts is our most advanced option to date and is available across all three of our main indicators. If you go into the settings of the indicator and scroll down, you will see a section called Custom Alert Creator. This system allows users to create unique alerts based on specific sequences of events. Here's an example using the Price Action Concepts Toolkit. First, let's enable market structure, order blocks, and liquidity grabs. Now within Custom Alert Creator, I can enable and select Bullish Liquidity Grab to get those alerts. But if I only want to get that alert if the liquidity grab is also a bullish structure change, I can also check market structure and select any internal bullish. The indicator will now create a highlight bar at the bottom of the chart to show you every single time those conditions were met. But what if we wanted an alert to be triggered only if the conditions were met in a specific order? That is also possible with our system. By default, if the step values are left at 1, all the conditions need to be met simultaneously for the alert to be confirmed. To have them confirmed in sequence, we simply change the step values. Here is an example. We can have a liquidity grab as step 1, any internal bullish structure as step 2, and price entering an order block as step 3. And not only can users create these sequences using features from our toolkits, but the system also allows users to integrate external indicators into the custom alert creator. For example, if you happen to use the MACD as part of your setup, you can use one of our external step options to access the MACD indicator. Let's say I want a bullish change of character, but only if the MACD histogram is above zero. First, we need to ensure we have the MACD indicator on the chart. Then, we want to use the custom alert creator to select the bullish change of character for market structure, and then use the external step to select the MACD histogram. Use the conditional operator greater than, and enter the value in the last box, which in this case is zero. Now, 
We will only get an alert if there is a market structure change and the MACD histogram is greater than zero. Once you've created your sequence using the custom alert creator, you need to go back to alerts. Select the toolkit and then select custom alert condition from the drop down menu. Name the alert, set a message, and click create. Now you've created one alert based on those conditions. The custom alert creator is an extremely powerful tool that every user should take the time to learn and master. In future videos, we'll discuss using placeholders and creating alerts with the backtesting systems. We hope you enjoyed this video and now have a better understanding of how to create alerts when using the toolkits. Don't forget to use the documentation for more information regarding alert creation and how each option works. Also, join our Discord to provide feedback or suggest updates to the tools. Let us know what features we should cover next. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.